Hello everyone, enjoy. my name is Kokoro34 and this is do another episode of the Kokoro Guide for Collecting Dinosaurs and today we're going to talk about um, figure, figures, just, just selecting your figures pretty much, the selecting process of collecting figures. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to talk you through basically selecting the figures you want, um, some other bits and pieces, websites, knowing what you've got, you know, know your prepping and stuff like that so we're getting to straight so uh first of all let's say this is my shelf uh let's just ignore all the carnegie and rebore figures but let's say this shelf is completely cleared uh there's nothing on it this is the shelf i'm going to start collecting my figures on so yeah i'm gonna have to collect it well i just want to get into dinosaurs i want to start collecting so let's pretend this this shelf is completely clear there's no figures on it so this is the shelf i'm going to put my figures on now what's the process after this well i'm going to show you what the process is so the next process is pretty much just looking for a website and the one web, the one website I'd recommend above all else is Everything Dinosaur. Um, Everything Dinosaur do it cheap, they do it nice, really friendly, uh, really good service. They do everything brilliantly, absolutely stunning. They bring all the figures, you know, they, they produce a lot of figures and it's brilliant. They don't produce all the current figures that are in, that are in, can, you know, that are in, that are not discontinued. But at the same time, that's because some of the figures they just can't afford to get, or there's no point in getting them because they're just going to get discontinued a bit, like the Carnegie stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely, you've definitely got to research websites. Definitely research websites, but for anybody who's not really bothered, everythingdinosaur.com is the place to be. It's just the best website um, out there for dinosaurs. If you live in America, I think Dan's Dinosaurs do a really good one. And there's another British website called uh, Dinosaur Times, but I, I, if I choose either that or this, I'd choose this. Everything Dinosaur do an amazing job, so yeah. So let's get into the next process. So, your next process is pretty much to make a list of figures that you want. And pretty much, these aren't figures that I want, this is just a random list I made up. But let, let me just, so the most important thing about the figures is that obviously taking the name, so let's take this one, Collector Lyoplodon uh, Predator X. Then you note down the price, and then you note down the size, because you've got to know how big these figures are. And I want you to look at these prices, Okay. Oh yeah, and get some collecting some books because then you can know what you want next. Look at the prices. What do they all have in common? They're all under ten pounds. Um, if you're a beginning collector, I'd start collecting things that are under ten pounds, and um, basically that means that you you know you're starting off small, you're starting off gradual, you're not going to build up to the big things. I started off big, but the problem was with big figures is that when when I was like buying the Papo figures from I think it was like age seven, I started collecting the papo figures i was chucking out about 20 quid um and i was only buying one figure a year at the point uh because just because pretty much it was if you, you can't really buy much with if you're buying one figure that's 20 quid so if you buy if you start under 10 pounds and then you can buy let's say with 10 pounds you could you could go and buy that collector australivanator the uh utah raptor and the collect a um like pluridon. so yeah definitely those figures are the best ones or if you just want to collect uh like a collector you know utah raptor with i don't know the this the tree the tree the agathis tree you know you want to get them um do that but i'd start off small i start off with a low price i'd set yourself i'd like make a bar and then when you feel like you're ready you can up that bar to about 20 quid and you can start collecting more and more but just because if you like starting off very small just start off small and you know just make sure you like write down a list of the figures you so, want so up next the thing you want to like look out for is basically looking at the pictures of the uh well first of all you want to compare the figures uh before you like do anything else uh, you want to compare like figures with this like, let's take the papo dilophosaurus so you compare it to let's say the safari ltd uh dilophosaurus now which you, you've got to decide which one do you like the most and pretty much you can just like look at you can like decide and in my mind in my eyes i prefer the Pop papo dilophosaurus because i like the texture and I like the detail I like the correlation right so basically the next process is looking at the pictures or reviews of the figures so here we go i've just searched up papo dilophosaurus on uh, bing even though bing is crap um and basically i'm just looking at the pictures of the animal so this is it compared to the allosaurus so let's say i've got an allosaurus this is the papo allosaurus i've got the papo allosaurus in my collection let's say yeah i've got that in my collection i can be like hey that's a good size hey that's all right um, but if you're a beginner, just like look at the dimensions and just look at pictures of the figure, you know, just, just get a good look at it, you know, just see if you really, really like it and you'll get it from all angles and stuff like that. And if you really like it, then keep it on your list. Um, but yeah, this, this, but yeah, also look at reviews. So people like, um, Matthew the Dinosaur King, 
uh, Camosaurus, Bionicosaurus, um, Jurassic Collectibles, Cody the Smilodon King, you know, stuff like that. Just just look at in, uh, just look at reviews, 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 pictures, pictures, pictures. Just get just get everybody's opinion on it and decide for yourself whether you like it. Um, now this is more Jurassic Parky uh, in in my eyes. So if you like if you like a Jurassic Park fanboy, then you know just just get it if you want it. You know if you if you're more leaning towards Jurassic Park, then I'd get this if I was you. But I got this purely because I like the correlation and I like the texture on it. So this will lead into the next part uh, when I was talking about Jurassic Park. And the next part is, you know, accuracy. So now I've gone onto Wikipedia and I've like looked at some images and looked at some things. So basically, with uh, this Papo Dilophosaurus right here, you can see that the arms are going in like that. They're not like that. So that's so if you're an accuracy nerd like me, like I like a bit of accuracy, but I also like texture. So if, and the tail there, obviously with me, it's like, ooh, it's bending a bit. Ooh, I'm not too fond of that. Or if the, or if the um, scientific evidence says no. But let's say I'm like a bit of an accuracy nerd and this is what I'd like to see my, oh, hello. Let's have, something's gone wrong there. So let's see that um, I'd like a Dilophosaurus like this with feathers. Now, obviously, uh, the only other one I could think of is the, hey, the Bully Land one. But yeah, but end of day, if, if this looks a lot like a Dilophosaurus, like with the pictures and stuff like that, then in my mind, I'd get this figure. I'd definitely get this figure because it's just, it's really nice looking. At the end of the day, it's got, it's got enough accuracies in my mind. It doesn't have the feathers, yes, but at the same time, it's a nice little figure. It's nice and cheap. It's, it's really nice to look at. So yeah, but if you're not happy with it, then guess what? I'd wait until some provider or some company manufacturer makes a feathered Dilophosaurus pretty much. But at the end of the day, if you really want a Dilophosaurus, uh, get the one that you really want. So let's say you want the Papo Dilophosaurus, get the Papo Dilophosaurus. And then basically it comes on to uh, my other point about buying figures, and I'll get into that process. So basically, with with your Dilophosaurus now, you put it in the, uh, you've added it to your basket, but I haven't, so uh, lol. Um, so basically, buy another figure, or at least my rule generally is with buying figures is that I buy at least two. Um, generally, if 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 not that, then I don't buy it all. I'll just wait. If there's a figure I want, let's say I want this, I want this Ankylosaurus, and there's no other figure I want, and then I want the Amplosaurus, but that's out of stock. I wait for that to come back in stock, and you know I buy them two together, and uh, yeah, just pretty much do that. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much a key rule with me. I buy multiple figures every time I buy figures. I don't buy one. I buy multiple because it's cheaper to buy them in bulk. Um, because at the end of the day, if you buy one, you're paying essentially like six pounds or maybe more for a blooming uh, figure because you have to pay for postage as well with everything the dinosaur which is you know it's good but it, it's just it's just if you want a figure if you want some figure if you want a figure like just buy another if and there's like another figure you want just buy them both at the same time just wait for the other one to come back in stock and then buy it because it's, it's simpler that way it's cheaper that way it saves you having to buy buying two figures separately which is more expensive so yeah, that's pretty much another thing. Be strategically, you know, strategic in how you buy things. So basically, buy multiple things at the same time. So bulk buying, pretty much. So just bulk buying bulk, and it'll be cheaper on your hands. Um. So yeah. Uh. So I think this this is pretty much it for the episode. Um. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next, for the next episode, but yep. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you later. Bye bye.